An aldehyde is an organic compound containing a functional group with the structure minus CHO, consisting of a carbonyl center a carbon double bonded to oxygen with the carbon atom also bonded to hydrogen and to an R group, which is any generic alkyl or side chain. The group, without R, is the aldehyde group, also known as the formal group. Aldehydes are common in organic chemistry, and many fragrances are aldehydes. Topic. Structure and bonding Aldehydes feature an sp2 hybridized, planar carbon center that is connected by a double bond to oxygen and a single bond to hydrogen. The CH bond is not ordinarily acidic. Because of resonance stabilization of the conjugate base, an alpha hydrogen in an aldehyde not shown in the picture above is far more acidic, with a pKa near 17, compared to the acidity of a typical alkane pKa about 50. This acidification is attributed to I the electron withdrawing quality of the formal center and e the fact that the conjugate base, an enolate anion, delocalizes its negative charge. Related to I, the aldehyde group is somewhat polar. The formal proton itself does not readily undergo deprotonation. The anionic species formally derived from deprotonation of an aldehyde proton, known as an acyl anion, is highly unstable and must be kept at low temperatures. In fact, with the exception of certain hindered dialkylformamides, the synthesis of acyl anions by direct deprotonation is not a feasible route, since the deprotonated species will almost immediately add to the highly reactive carbonyl of the starting material to form an acyloin compound. For this reason, the acidity of the formal proton is difficult to measure. In the case of HCONIPR2, the acidity of the formal group was found to be very close to that of disopropylamine pKa approximately 36. The gas phase acidity of formaldehyde was found to be 1640 kJ per mole, 393 kJ per mole, making it more acidic than hydrogen, 1700 kJ per mole, 400 kJ per mole, and ammonia, 1680 kJ per mole, 402 kJ per mole, but less acidic than water, 1600 kJ per mole, 390 90 kilocalories per mole in the gas phase aldehydes except those without an alpha carbon or without protons on the alpha carbon such as formaldehyde and benzaldehyde can exist in either the keto or the enol tautomer keto enol tautomerism is catalyzed by either acid or base usually the enol is the minority tautomer but it is more reactive at around 360 kJ per mole, 85 per mole the formal CH bond is weaker than that of a typical bond between hydrogen and an sp2 hybridized carbon. Thus aldehydes are prone to undergo hydrogen atom abstraction in the presence of free radicals, a fact accounts for the ease with which aldehydes undergo autoxidation. Nomenclature Topic <inaudible> IUPAC names for aldehydes The common names for aldehydes do not strictly follow official guidelines such as those recommended by IUPAC but these rules are useful IUPAC prescribes the following nomenclature for aldehydes Acyclic aliphatic aldehydes are named as derivatives of the longest carbon chain containing the aldehyde group. Thus, HCHO is named as a derivative of methane, and CH3CH2CH2CHO is named as a derivative of butane. The name is formed by changing the suffix E of the parent alkane to al, so that HCHO is named methanol, and CH3CH2CH2CHO is named butanol. In other cases, such as when HO group is attached to a ring, the suffix carbaldehyde may be used. Thus, C6H11CHO is known as cyclohexanecarbaldehyde. 
If the presence of another functional group demands the use of a suffix, the aldehyde group is named with the prefix formal. This prefix is preferred to methanoil. If the compound is a natural product or a carboxylic acid, the prefix oxo may be used to indicate which carbon atom is part of the aldehyde group, for example, CHOCH2COOH is named 3-oxopropanoic acid. If replacing the aldehyde group with a carboxyl group minus COOH would yield a carboxylic acid with a trivial name, the aldehyde may be named by replacing the suffix IC acid or OIC acid in this trivial name by aldehyde. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word aldehyde was coined by Justus von Liebig as a contraction of the Latin alcohol dehydrogenatus dehydrogenated alcohol. In the past, aldehydes were sometimes named after the corresponding alcohols, for example, vinous aldehyde for acetaldehyde. Vinous is from Latin vinum, wine, the traditional source of ethanol, cognate with vinyl. The term formal group is derived from the Latin word formica. Ant. This word can be recognized in the simplest aldehyde, formaldehyde, and in the simplest carboxylic acid, formic acid. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Physical properties and characterization. Aldehydes have properties that are diverse and that depend on the remainder of the molecule. Smaller aldehydes are more soluble in water, formaldehyde and acetaldehyde completely so. The volatile aldehydes have pungent odors. Aldehydes, particularly aryl-aldehydes, degrade in air via the process of autoxidation. The acyl hydroperoxide is generated, which comproportionates with the starting material to generate two equivalents of the carboxylic acid. Old bottles of benzaldehyde, a liquid, will often accumulate a crusty solid on the bottle cap or even suspended in the bulk liquid. This material is benzoic acid, which can be removed by using a base wash followed by distillation. The two aldehydes of greatest importance in industry, formaldehyde and acetaldehyde, have complicated behavior because of their tendency to oligomerize or polymerize. Formaldehyde in particular is sold as the polymer paraformaldehyde CH2O N, typically N equals 50 to 100 as well as the trimer 1, 3, 5 trioxane metaformaldehyde. In addition to the inconveniently low boiling monomer B, P, 21 degrees Celsius, acetaldehyde is available as the trimer peraldehyde a sedative and anti-convulsant and tetramer metaldehyde a slug and snail poison. In general, higher aliphatic aldehydes will accumulate a substantial amount of oligomer mostly trimer upon long-term storage and must be freshly distilled when a reaction calls for the monomeric starting material. They also tend to hydrate, forming the geminal diol. Formaldehyde is often sold as the aqueous solution, formalin, which is mostly 1,1-methanediol, with a small amount of methanol added as stabilizer. The oligomers, polymers and the hydrates exist in equilibrium with the parent aldehyde, and for some synthetic procedures, they can serve as substitutes for the anhydrous monomer. Aldehydes are readily identified by spectroscopic methods. Using IR spectroscopy, they display a strong new CO band near 1700 cm-1. In their 1HNMR spectra, the formal hydrogen center absorbs near delta H 9.5 to 10, which is a distinctive part of the spectrum. This signal shows the characteristic coupling to any protons on the alpha carbon with a small coupling constant typically less than 3.0 Hz. The 13 CNMR spectra of aldehydes and ketones gives a suppressed weak but distinctive signal at delta C 190 to 205. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Applications and occurrence. Important aldehydes and related compounds. The aldehyde group or formal group is colored red. 
From the left, 1 formaldehyde and 2 its trimer 1, 3, 5 trioxan, 3 acetaldehyde and 4 its enol vinyl alcohol, 5 glucose pyranose form as alpha D glucopyranose, 6 the flavorant cinnamaldehyde, 7 the visual pigment retinol, and 8 the vitamin pyridoxal. Topic: <laughs> Naturally occurring aldehydes. Traces of many aldehydes are found in essential oils and often contribute to their favorable odors, e.g. cinnamaldehyde, cilantro, and vanillin. Possibly because of the high reactivity of the formal group, aldehydes are not common in several of the natural building blocks, amino acids, nucleic acids, lipids. Most sugars, however, are derivatives of aldehydes. These aldoses exist as hemiacetals, a sort of masked form of the parent aldehyde. For example, in aqueous solution only a tiny fraction of glucose exists as the aldehyde. <laughs> Synthesis There are several methods for preparing aldehydes, but the dominant technology is hydroformylation. Illustrative is the generation of butyraldehyde by hydroformylation of propene H2 plus CO plus CH3 CH equals CH2 CH3 CH2 CH2 CHO Oxidative routes Aldehydes are commonly generated by alcohol oxidation. In industry, formaldehyde is produced on a large scale by oxidation of methanol. Oxygen is the reagent of choice, being green and cheap. In the laboratory, more specialized oxidizing agents are used, but chromium reagents are popular. Oxidation can be achieved by heating the alcohol with an acidified solution of potassium dichromate. In this case, excess dichromate will further oxidize the aldehyde to a carboxylic acid, so either the aldehyde is distilled out as it forms if volatile, or milder reagents such as PCC are used. O plus CH3 CH2 9 OH CH3 CH2 8 CHO plus H2O oxidation of primary alcohols to form aldehydes can be achieved under milder, chromium-free conditions by employing methods or reagents such as IBX acid, Desmartin periodinane, Swern oxidation, Tempo, or the Oppenauer oxidation. Another oxidation route significant in industry is the Wacker process, whereby ethylene is oxidized to acetaldehyde in the presence of copper and palladium catalysts acetaldehyde is also produced on a large scale by the hydration of acetylene. On the laboratory scale, alpha-hydroxy acids are used as precursors to prepare aldehydes via oxidative cleavage. Specialty methods Topic: Common reactions Aldehydes are highly reactive and participate in many reactions. From the industrial perspective, important reactions are a condensations, e.g. to prepare plasticizers and polyols, and b reduction to produce alcohols, especially oxo-alcohols. From the biological perspective, the key reactions involve addition of nucleophiles to the formal carbon in the formation of amines oxidative demination and hemiacetals structures of aldose sugars. Topic. Reduction The formal group can be readily reduced to a primary alcohol minus CH2OH. Typically this conversion is accomplished by catalytic hydrogenation either directly or by transfer hydrogenation. Stoichiometric reductions are also popular, as can be affected with sodium borohydride. Topic. Oxidation 
The formal group readily oxidizes to the corresponding carboxyl group minus COOH. The preferred oxidant in industry is oxygen or air. In the laboratory, popular oxidizing agents include potassium permanganate, nitric acid, chromium oxide, and chromic acid. The combination of manganese dioxide, cyanide, acetic acid and methanol will convert the aldehyde to a methyl ester. Another oxidation reaction is the basis of the silver mirror test. In this test, an aldehyde is treated with Tollens reagent, which is prepared by adding a drop of sodium hydroxide solution into silver nitrate solution to give a precipitate of silver I oxide, and then adding just enough dilute ammonia solution to redissolve the precipitate in aqueous ammonia to produce Ag NH3 plus complex. This reagent converts aldehydes to carboxylic acids without attacking carbon-carbon double bonds. The name silver mirror test arises because this reaction produces a precipitate of silver, whose presence can be used to test for the presence of an aldehyde. A further oxidation reaction involves Felling's reagent as a test. The Cu2 plus complex ions are reduced to a red brick colored precipitate. If the aldehyde cannot form an enolate, e.g., benzaldehyde, addition of strong base induces the Cannizzaro reaction. This reaction results in disproportionation, producing a mixture of alcohol and carboxylic acid. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nucleophilic addition reactions. Nucleophiles add readily to the carbonyl group. In the product, the carbonyl carbon becomes sp3 hybridized, being bonded to the nucleophile, and the oxygen center becomes protonated. RCHO plus nu minus RCH nu O minus RCH nu O minus plus H plus RCH nu O. In many cases, a water molecule is removed after the addition takes place. In this case, the reaction is classed as an addition elimination or addition condensation reaction. There are many variations of nucleophilic addition reactions. Topic: <inaudible> Oxygen nucleophiles. In the acetylization reaction, under acidic or basic conditions, an alcohol adds to the carbonyl group and a proton is transferred to form a hemiacetal. Under acidic conditions, the hemiacetal and the alcohol can further react to form an acetal and water. Simple hemiacetals are usually unstable, although cyclic ones such as glucose can be stable. Acetals are stable, but revert to the aldehyde in the presence of acid. Aldehydes can react with water to form hydrates, R-CH-2. These diols are stable when strong electron withdrawing groups are present, as in chloral hydrate. The mechanism of formation is identical to hemiacetal formation. Topic: <laughs> Nitrogen nucleophiles. In alkalimino deoxo by substitution, a primary or secondary amine adds to the carbonyl group and a proton is transferred from the nitrogen to the oxygen atom to create a carbonylamine. In the case of a primary amine, a water molecule can be eliminated from the carbonylamine intermediate to yield an amine or its trimer, a hexahydrotriazine. This reaction is catalyzed by acid. Hydroxylamine NH2OH can also add to the carbonyl group. After the elimination of water, this results in an oxime. An ammonia derivative of the form H2NNR2 such as hydrazine H2NNH2 or 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine can also be the nucleophile and after the elimination of water, resulting in the formation of a hydrazone, which are usually orange crystalline solids. This reaction forms the basis of a test for aldehydes and ketones. Topic. Carbon nucleophiles The cyano group in HCN can add to the carbonyl group to form cyanohydrins, R-CH-O-CN. 
In this reaction the Cn- ion is the nucleophile that attacks the partially positive carbon atom of the carbonyl group. The mechanism involves a pair of electrons from the carbonyl group double bond transferring to the oxygen atom, leaving it single bonded to carbon and giving the oxygen atom a negative charge. This intermediate ion rapidly reacts with H+, such as from the HCN molecule, to form the alcohol group of the cyanohydrin. Organometallic compounds, such as organolithium reagents, Grignard reagents, or acetylides, undergo nucleophilic addition reactions, yielding a substituted alcohol group. Related reactions include organostanane additions, Barbier reactions, and the nazaki hayama kishi reaction. In the aldol reaction, the metal enolates of ketones, esters, amides, and carboxylic acids add to aldehydes to form beta-hydroxycarbonyl compounds aldols. Acid or base-catalyzed dehydration then leads to alpha, beta-unsaturated carbonyl compounds. The combination of these two steps is known as the aldol condensation. The Prinz reaction occurs when a nucleophilic alkene or alkana reacts with an aldehyde as electrophile. The product of the Prinz reaction varies with reaction conditions and substrates employed. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bisulfite reaction. Aldehydes characteristically form addition compounds. With sodium bisulfite, RCHO plus HSO minus 3 RCHO so minus 3. This reaction is used as a test for aldehydes. Topic: <laughs> More complex reactions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Dialdehydes. A dialdehyde is an organic chemical compound with two aldehyde groups. The nomenclature of dialdehydes have the ending diol or sometimes dialdehyde. Short aliphatic dialdehydes are sometimes named after the diacid from which they can be derived. An example is butanediol, which is also called sixanaldehyde from sixinic acid. Topic Biochemistry Some aldehydes are substrates for aldehyde dehydrogenase enzymes which metabolize aldehydes in the body. There are toxicities associated with some aldehydes that are related to neurodegenerative disease, heart disease, and some types of cancer. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples of aldehydes Formaldehyde methanol acetaldehyde ethanol propionaldehyde propanal butaldehyde butanol benzaldehyde phenylmethanol cinnamaldehyde vanillin tolualdehyde furfural retinaldehyde topic Examples of dialdehydes Glyoxyl Malandialdehyde Sixindialdehyde Glutaraldehyde Thalaldehyde Uses Of all aldehydes, formaldehyde is produced on the largest scale, about 6 million tons per year. It is mainly used in the production of resins when combined with urea, melamine, and phenol e.g., bakelite. It is a precursor to methylene diphenyl disocyanate, MDI, a precursor to polyurethanes. The second main aldehyde is butyraldehyde, of which about tons per year are prepared by hydroformylation. It is the principal precursor to 2-ethylhexanol, which is used as a plasticizer. 
Acetaldehyde once was a dominating product, but production levels have declined to less than 1 million tons per year because it mainly served as a precursor to acetic acid, which is now prepared by carbonylation of methanol. Many other aldehydes find commercial applications, often as precursors to alcohols, the so-called oxo-alcohols, which are used in detergents. Some aldehydes are produced only on a small scale less than 1,000 tons per year and are used as ingredients in flavors and perfumes such as Chanel No. 5. These include cinnamaldehyde and its derivatives, citral, and lilial. See also Enol Pseudoacid <inaudible>